Hello and welcome to another episode of my channel. My name is Kenneth Small and today we want to answer the question can Redfall become the next Borderlands or well is it even close to what Borderlands is offering. Please don't forget if you enjoy this video to click the like button and also subscribe to the channel, ring the bell icon so that you are getting informed when a new video on my channel is going live and if you also want to see more Redfall content on the channel. But let's talk about the topic. Can Redfall become the next Borderlands? Well, I think the first question we really have to answer here is, does it try to become that? Because let's be real, if you were thinking about Borderlands, what do you think about? Well, it is no, not the corny humor. It is guns, 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 and even more guns. That's what the game is doing. Heck, there is a weapon in the game which is creating or shooting even more guns. It's all about the guns and the amount of items and equipment you can find. And that is, of course, something we have to take a look at in Redfall. And then we also have to take a look at how Redfall is managing some of the word design to really get a feeling on where this looter shooter, or maybe not looter shooter, is actually standing in the ranking of all the looter shooters like Destiny, Outriders, Borderlands, and many, many more in the world. So first things first, let's have a little bit of a look at the word design. In Borderlands and a lot of other looter shooters, you are following one path. Yes, you are getting into some areas where it is relatively open and you can kind of decide what you're doing in that certain area, but it is not really an open world game where Redfall is trying to be more like a Far Cry game. And I mean the newer Far Cry games, not the first one. Uh, that is at least what the developers of Redfall Arcane Studios has said in certain playtests whenever people ask them, okay, what would you compare this to? They didn't mention Borderlands, they actually mentioned Far Cry. And weirdly enough, in particular, Far Cry 2. So we will see how that goes. But they really wanted to irritate, irritate that this is an open world and you decide on where you go. And that is, of course, completely changing the dynamic when it comes to how do you acquire new equipment and how do you level your character, right? Because everything is really open and you decide where you want to go. There is but one thing we already kind of know, which will be similar to Borderlands, and that is the so-called Vampire Gods. The Vampire Gods, which are four in total as far as we know right now, are basically like the end boss raid fights you can do in the game. And I'm pretty sure this is where the end game will mostly be, that you are farming the vampire bosses so that you can get better loot out of them. But it seems like that is really the only focused end game activity you are doing. And most of the stuff is just walking around, finding secrets, doing quests, just killing some enemies or doing some events. And that is rinse and repeat. Now, the next question is, of course, loot. Let's, let's be real here. Loot is the bread and butter of every looter shooter. If the loot is not great or you're not getting a substantial amount of loot, it's not really a looter shooter anymore. And of course, when you are like looking at the far end of the spectrum, there's Borderlands, where you are just getting all the weapons. And yes, even guns with legs. But they are also games which are not going as crazy as Borderlands, like as I said, Outriders or even Destiny 2. Yes, there's a lot of loot in the game, but it's not like you are finding 20 weapons in just one enemy. They're not going that crazy. So where does Redfall stand in all of this? That's a bit tough to say at this point. Um, what we have seen from interviews and what we have heard from people who have actually already played the game, it seems like the loot we are getting is there. But it is not like that you are being showered in a loot fountain. You will find upgrades on dead bodies, loot chests, quests, events, and yes, of course, on some enemies. But it is not like that you are killing one enemies and you have like 20 weapons you can choose from. It will be a little bit more specific in what you are getting. And you know what? I think that's good. I sometimes have the feeling that, especially in the Borderlands games, it, it's getting a little bit too much, 
right? It's like, oh, look, I found another legendary. Yay, that's number 200 today. Woo, exciting. You know, it, it gets the excitement back when you are not getting just overwhelmed by all the loot which is out there. Speaking of loot, what we know so far when it comes to loot is that there will be weapons, da, and of course, um, there will also be trinkets. So it's not just weapons we're getting, we're also getting trinkets. Um, but what we will not get is equipment. So you're not upgrading your boots, you are not upgrading your armor, that is all cosmetics. And as far as we know, we can just find cosmetics by playing the game. There are no microtransactions in the game, so that's pretty cool. But again, your rain code will not increase your stats. It's the trinkets and the weapons in the end which will do that. Also speaking of weapon, it seems like most of the weapons we have seen so far are more grounded in reality, even though, and that is not quite true, uh, we have already seen one or two weapons which are definitely a little bit fantasy-esque. There was a rifle with skin and bones all over the weapon, and it definitely did a little bit something different than just shooting normal bullets. So there are definitely some exotic weapons where... They're not trying to ground it in reality, which I think makes kind of sense in a game like Redfall. But most of the weapons we have seen so far, probably not to spoiler us too much, have been DRMs, shotguns, pistols, assault rifles, flare guns, and of course, state gun and UV light guns. So even the amount of like different weapon categories we see so far in Redfall is... Like, it's not overwhelming you, right? Like, you can you can basically count all those weapon categories at one and a half hands. <laughs> and it's like, it's like seven weapon categories we have. And I think that's adequate, right? It, it gives you enough to experiment, like, which weapons you want to utilize. But it's, as I said, not completely overwhelming you, like in Borderlands, where there are so many weapons and so many weapon categories that you are just losing oversight on what you were actually looking for, right? Uh, it seems to be much more moderate in that regard. And that is something I can definitely get behind. Like, give me a more moderate feeling of a looter shooter, still reward me in all the activities I'm doing in your game, but it's not like Borderlands that I have to go through 20 weapons after a boss run, and I cannot really decide what I want to do with it, right? Or I have to read, like, a wiki entry or go to YouTube and watch a YouTube video on which are the weapons I'm actually looking for. Um, I find that always a little bit tedious. So for me personally, I think how Redfall is trying to manage it is the right way to do it. But please keep in mind, we haven't seen too much of the game yet. Yes, the game is one month out. But what we have seen so far has been mostly interviews, some trailers, and people who have played the game for one and a half hours, which, let's be honest here, is not really that much for an open world game with tons of items in it, right? So we will see how that goes. But with that said, we are at the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please, again, don't forget to like and to subscribe to the channel. There will be more Redfall videos down the line, especially when we are getting closer to the release of the game. And then, of course, at the release of the game itself, I'm planning quite a bit of content for said game. And if you want to see more of it, as I said, you can decide to subscribe. With that said, thank you so much for watching, stay safe, and I hope to see you next time.